Well, well, well. Showing up fashionably late, like always. Man, I've been looking forward to this series for a while. Let's get to it. Man, I cannot wait to start farming in the 80s here. What a great idea Grant had. This is going to be fun. So hope you all join us. So we need to figure out where we want to build. And yes, yes I know, I'm driving a Ford here. Man, it, I think this Ford just fits this time frame so much. I just can't help but drive it. I'm trying not to copy Grant, but it just, I just couldn't stay away from it. And two, I got some firepower. Even though it's a little bit too advanced there, I do have some firepower. I know it's farm sim. We got to deal with what we got to deal with. It's okay. You can roast me down below. But we need to figure out where we want to build at. And I was looking around, and of course, all the prime real estate has been kind of botting up because we're late, like always. And I was kind of trying to figure out where do I want to build at. So on this map, I've always kind of liked this area right here. Uh, we got to kind of stay away from this farmyard here. Uh, it's just the buildings are a little bit too advanced, I think. Maybe that type of, you know, barn could, uh, it might be in the 80s, but I, I don't know for sure. I, I just want a more, little bit more of a rustic feel, being this is going to be an 80s farm. So I'm thinking about just going down the road. And maybe later we can, this is kind of maybe be like the, the startup farm. We can possibly do some cattle in there because, you know, now that I'm looking at it, that does kind of feel like the 80s. And I kind of like the feel of it, sort of. But you know me, I have to build my own farmyard, at least try. I was thinking about building it somewhere down around this road. Just kind of like this feel right here. Don't know exactly, but thinking yeah just do a little bit transforming build it up here and then kind of have my house overlooking isn't the highest point well actually maybe I'll do it like right here and then I could kind of have some of my farmyard up there on the building I just think this would be kind of nice I get to kind of overlook my whole entire farmyard it's what I'm trying to go for at least I at least want to make my farmyard on different levels but we'll see how this all turns out I always like being by a hard pack road but I think this will suffice so I think I'm gonna do some type of an old driveway here and just kind of put uh, well you know me but I just, I kind of like this feel of driving through the woods up to your house, though. I just think that kind of gives the feel. I'm really trying to hit that old 80s feel. But, you know, we are in the 80s, so basically everything 80s is brand new. Like, this truck is only a few years old. What is this, a 78, I believe? Similar or close to? So, this is only a few years old. That's what I'm going to try to go for. I have no idea if I'm going to hit it. You guys can let me know if I hit this or not down below. But sit back and enjoy.
Okay, so we kind of got our farm set up now. I had a lot of problems setting this up. I had a lot of failures. Whole lot of fails. I don't know what it was. I just couldn't get it to look right. I was basically putting... I always try to get the depth look. Kind of have the depth look like right now. But it was really hard for me to get it. It, uh, it was just super hard for me to just kind of plan it just right. I wanted that a little bit higher, but I just couldn't get that uh, MW Farms basically cattle barn. And I really do think we are going to use that cattle barn. Uh, I'm somehow going to get a road back there. I just kind of want a winding road. I think I'm going to connect this winding road all the way back there and then kind of have some type of bridge going across there. And you can see I, I have a little bit of leveling work to do over here too. So that that looks kind of bad. This is the first time I've been on the ground looking at this whole thing. Uh, I kind of like the feel of it now. I think I'm going to have some type of flag type of windmill kind of going up here. And then have the whole driveway coming down here. Just kind of getting the feel. Kind of see that I have to level this off a little bit more. But we will get back to it.
Okay, are you guys ready? We are gonna go up there and see it for the first time. Man, you probably noticed I was having a miserable time getting the placement of these uh, buildings. I don't know what it was. It just didn't seem natural to me every time I tried to place it down. I, what I wanted in my head is usually a lot easier for me, but I just couldn't get it placed. I kind of like the setup now. You'll have to let me know how I did. So let's go up there and see. Oh yeah, start up this old beast. And I just love how this truck sounds. So, right up here we have an old-fashioned bin set. Uh, these aren't really... Obviously the bins, you can tell they're old. And the old style of bins with the caps on there and everything. I don't know a lot about the year of bins. I need to clean this up like... The grass growing through the concrete that just looks bad i'm gonna clean it up and just make it look a little bit better just do a little bit of touch up you see yeah i have a gap right here on this so this is all comes in one model so i just kind of thought this kind of fit the scheme uh these old little hopper bins could be used for little uh, holding grain for our dairy cattle and then this all sets sets up here and you have a little leg or a little uh, pit that this all goes down in uh, I ended up getting some of uh, the what are these modding whelps M MW farms kit here so I'm pretty sure I've used these before I just like how this is at a different level kinda I just kinda like the feel of this whole thing and it kind of has that old feel to it, or old-fashioned wood building. So these buildings, you'll have to let me know. Did they look 80s to me? Just the way they are set up and the frame and everything. So these buildings might look familiar to you. These are actually uh, Welker Farms buildings, one of my favorite YouTubers. Ooh, that that looks kind of bad. I'm gonna have to fix that. We've got some uh, building issues there in our foundation, but this is a good long storage, especially for some trucks and maybe some implements. Cold storage there. I just really like this kit because one, uh, basically their shop, the repair shop, I thought just fit perfectly. wasn't too big, wasn't too small, and it kind of has all the old style. Uh, has kind of the old style feel to it if you know what I mean uh, and kind of the workers feels because obviously in the 80s farmers could do it all they really most farmers did a lot of work inside at least more than let's say today's farmers uh, they did a lot of work inside their shops uh, improving their uh, they did a lot of work in their shops, basically improving. So I know we have a, like a Montana flag here. I know we're in Iowa. Maybe we're just uh, showing a little Montana pride. And we have some futuristic sprayer up there on the wall. That's weird. So a lot of this stuff I couldn't control uh, and cut out. But, you know, Welkers, they have, you know, some old tools and an old barn. No, no offense to them. They have a very good, uh, basically, building and setup. And I kind of like the way it feels. You have your shop room here. You have all your tools set up here. Except that uh, weird-looking screen up there. I don't know what that is. But in the office, we just won't use that. And we have our little... Uh, storage room back here but there's just so many options you could do in this uh type and we are gonna have to be doing a lot of repairs a lot of fixing up and tractors back then you didn't have to hook up a computer to to find out the issue with you just could use some adjustment and some good old 
engineering or mechanical skills and you didn't even have a YouTube to uh, certify yourself a YouTube mechanic. You had to basically learn it on the job. But I thought that really fit and I kind of like all the placement of it. It's almost a perfect building. I would love to have this in real life. Man, that would be the ultimate shop. So then I built our dairy over here in the background. Thought it kind of fit here in the background. Uh, we got our humongous dairy barn. I just like the looks of this uh, dairy barn. Even though some of it is a little new. Can't really control that. Some of the components, the milker and everything in there. A little bit too new, but the the majority of the appearance and everything gives that olden style feel and we do have some cold storage up above in case we want to use it in this building go up these stairs here so we got some cold storage we can put so maybe we can store bales Ooh, I just thought about that what is that futuristic thing here ah. Some alienware there or something but uh, I just thought this would be nice for storing some hay bales in it uh, work kind of good almost work perfect I think be easy to get in and out of we got some old uh, silos there we might not use I want to majority of the first at least at first to use all hay bales that's my goal. Haven't really decided if I'm gonna go all small square. Maybe do a little bit around in small square. And then we have our shop barn here. Little repair barn. Thought it kind of fit the theme. I was really trying to fit because when you look at an 80s farmyard, one of the first almost every single 80s farmyard in my mind always had an old barn in the background I really wanted that barn so I could sit here and I could almost see the top of the roof or everything but I couldn't really get it placed perfectly kind of annoying me a little bit but I really wanted that uh, my dairy barn placed right there I just thought it kind of fit perfectly there we got our little path to the back I, I need to clean this up a little bit. I think I need a little bit more gravel. I'm going to spread this gravel. So I kind of wanted to give the, the muddy st style rock feel there. I just kind of thought that kind of give the feel a little bit of olden style. There's still a few things I want to change around, obviously. This is the first time and I'm at this level. And I kind of wanted everything to feel right. Oh. And I forgot, so I thought this Victorian house just fit the type of a theme perfectly. This wraparound porch and everything. This is, you know, to be honest, I would love to be able to fix up one of these old houses one day. And uh, just to have for my own two-story. And it actually kind of reminds me of my childhood house. But these big two-story kind of, I guess, Victorian-style houses were pretty prevalent on the farm, at least where I grew up. So I thought it kind of fit. Unfortunately, I cannot go into the house. It would be amazing if I, you could actually use this house, at least, at least a little bit of it. But it's a very big house. I still have a little bit more detail to do. I don't think I'm ever done with a farmyard. I'm always like, even when I, every time I get on, I was like, oh, I need to do, put a little detail right here and everything. I am really looking forward to this 80s style farming. Man, I hope we never move up to the 90s because I'm gonna enjoy this. So, thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in the 80s
Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.